What is up guys, it's DJ here and today we're going to be looking at the Inform Kondreva card. Now, I already did a video on him a few months ago, it was with his regular card and I put him at striker. And he did pretty well, but in this video I'm going to try to switch it up and use a few other positions with him. Obviously we're going to try him at right wing, that is his natural position. He gets 10 chem there for every single game that he plays there. He has some good dribbling and has some good crossing as well. But I also want to try him at center attacking mid because like I said, he has some good dribbling. He also has some pretty good passing and he has a great shot on him. He has 77 finishing, which isn't bad, but he's got 92 shot power and 90 long shots, which is great for any player in FIFA. And if it turns out that he does not do too well at the right wing or the center attacking mid position, then we can always just put him at striker. This is a team that we threw around him. We have Mandzukic at striker, Mertens at center attacking mid, and Diego Lopez at goalie. Those are the notable players. Let's go into a game and see how he performs first at right wing, and then hopefully if he's not doing too well there, or if he does do well in the first game, then the second game we're gonna put him at center and attacking mid. We finally get into the first game. It took like 10 minutes to find a game some, for some reason. BPL team looks fairly standard. Should have no problem with this. Hopefully country if we can do work on that right wing. Oh, sir. Thank you. I'll have to rip that though. So let's hit it, why not? Why not? You have got to be absolutely kidding me. Felipe Anderson! Oh my, how did that get in? Oh, and that's so, that's so lucky. That is so lucky. See you, Kondreva? No. <laughs> yes, Kondreva. Oh, yes, Kondreva. He only has three star skills, but he's still putting in work. I think I'm gonna try him at center attacking mid. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him at center attacking mid just to see how different it is. Kondreva. No, no, no. Kondreva. He's, he's so much better in the middle. He is so much better. Although, to be fair, I'm pretty sure if you put anyone in the middle, they'll do better there than on the wing. Oh my god. No, I'm putting him at center attacking mid. Mario Fernandez. Mario Fernandez. Kondreva! I have no I have no idea what his positioning is. I have to look up what is his positioning. His positioning is only 79. Only 79, but he's still there for a team out. That's not that bad. Oh, that's dirty. Kondrick. He didn't even run up. He just stopped and hit it. Or get still have it. He still has it. Kondre! No wait, wait. Am I freaking out over nothing? Nope, that's I mean that's still an amazing goal. But I thought that was Kondreva. <laughs> He already has a hat trick. Kondreva has a hat trick. I had no idea about that. That is half time, and I don't think of. Besides Gamero, I've never seen someone make that much of an impact. Yep. Oh, that's Mandzukic goal. Thank you. FIFA 14 memories right there. With his, with his OP heading. Kondreva! <gasps> okay, this guy's not that good. But still, that's insane. Kondreva, where are you, buddy? Oh, Kondreva. Can you do it again? He nearly just put two straight long shots in the back of the net. Matty Fernandez! That's top class. <laughs> oh my god. I don't say Kondreva with them. He had 15 shots. Mertens was man of the match. How many assists? Really? Kondreva had 4 goals and assists. Mertens had just had 2 assists. Kondreva had 11 of 15 shots. It's just Mertens had 6 of 16 17 passes. It. No, I didn't. No. You know what? No. Kondreva's man of the match. 
four goals and assists. So going into our second game, and he has got BPL slash Syria hybrid. De Bruyne and Lukaku, that's gonna be that's gonna suck. He's got Kondreva, Marquisio Benucci, Victor Valdez and goal instead of De Gea, thankfully. <laughs> Some of those long shots with Kondreva since he's so short. Alright. Okay, that's holy god, how did that not on the back of the net? It's one of those I hate that. The first game, like after everyone's like fully like fit, everyone has like a hundred fitness or whatever, they become ridiculously slow. Yo, Kondreva. Mandzukic. Mandzukic off the post and in. Kondreva with an assist. There we go. Wow, he was wide open. Wide open. <sighs> that is halftime, and it has been such a boring game besides my goal. What a freaking tackle. Yes, yes, yes. Two assists for Kondreva. That was beautiful. That was goalie did trip or it stumbled or something because he was coming out and then something happened. Yeah, he got like hit or something, but still wonderful, wonderful ball from Kondreva. Kondreva! How did he get around him? How did he get around him? Ha! 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 Oh god. Oh my god. Yes. Yes! That could have been his third assist. He should have three assists. That is the game. Another man of the match. Two country. Technically, he didn't go in the last game, but he definitely deserved it from the stats. Kondreva, one goal, two assists. He was involved in every single goal that was scored in this game. I don't know how many goals was scored. I mean, he did score a ridiculous amount of last game, and he probably shouldn't have scored that many, but he was amazing. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Inform Kondreva. I would recommend him at center attacking mid. I mean, you can play him on the wing, and you can try him there. He does only have three-star skills, and he's right-footed on the right wing. So I would, I prefer to put him in centrally, especially with those long shots, they come in more in handy. So in two games, he scored five goals, three assists, and I would say probably two or three of those goals from the first game he deserved. So maybe not like all four of them, but still a fantastic outing for him. You can see here I bought him for 122K, and this is on PlayStation, by the way, if you haven't noticed, is on PlayStation, not Xbox. And currently I have it up. He has 117,000 on PlayStation and 103,000 on Xbox. And I checked that about an hour or two ago and they've gone up a little bit. So you can see here I did buy him for 122K and on Xbox there's about 100K. I would probably wait because I would think the price would go down. I would buy him for 100K. I think that is that it's getting there too, like, too much. It's almost too much, but I think it is still worth it. Plus his price is gonna go down the later FIFA keeps going on. So you probably also get him cheaper. But for now we are stuck with the first inform, 100K for Xbox, 120 for PlayStation. And I think I would recommend that. So that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. This has been DMG. Peace.